Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, today, I would like to talk about Test Containers Go Library. Uh, my name is Nikola. I work for Zola and Helsinki. You can find me on Twitter. And let's go. So, in our systems, we need uh, integration tests. Uh, uh, un just unit tests are not enough. Uh, if we have only unit tests, we can end up with some awkward situation. So for me, basic integration test setup is like this. We have a Go service which talks to some database. In this specific case, it's Postgres, but it could be anything like Redis, Elasticsearch, anything else. So then we want to get a database for testing. Uh, we can use a local database, some in-memory mock emulation, or much better approach is to use Docker to start database in Docker because it provides, uh, provides a lot of uh, advantages, like it's 100% compatible database. And for tests, you can use even the, exactly the same version as you use pro for production. And you are always sure about the state of the database. It's either empty or the one which you have configured. So now we have this kind of setup. We have a Go service and database running in Docker container. So how we get a doc uh, database and Docker container. The most naive approach is would be to execute Docker run command in shell, and that's it. What can possibly go wrong? Actually, many things can go wrong. Uh, we can get host port conflict, some other database running on the same port. Uh, by the time, also by the time we start the test, our container or service might not be yet ready, so the test will fail and flaky tests are bad. Uh, we need to care about stopping container after the test, otherwise our resources might leak. Uh, if we reuse the same container, we can get stale data in the database. So if we try to address some of the issues, then uh, our shell script becomes like really bloated, uh, but still we are not able to solve all of the issues because we still have uh, the fixed port and if you sleep for five seconds before we start the test, maybe it's not enough. Uh, but in other cases, we uh, uh, overcommit. So there should be definitely a better way to do that. So the better way is uh, to to use REST API of the Docker daemon. So do Docker daemon run, runs at your machine. It provides you API. And you can use that to start the container. So this is just an example of... Uh, uh, how you execute the command inside the container. So there is a specific endpoint where you post your command and then you, you start the command and then you inspect the result multiple times before the command get, uh, is ready and output is ready. So uh, test containers library uh, uh, leverage on that on Docker API. Uh, so under the hood, it has uh, Docker Go, official Docker Go client. And for developers, it provides uh, useful features like host port randomizations, container cleanup, and uh, readiness waiting strategies. So this is just API example. If you want to have a container being started from your test, you just need to specify what kind of image and what ports to expose. And then you have then you run this code, you have the container being started by this Go code. Uh, it gets exposed to some random host port. You can, by API, you can get that host port uh, uh, to construct a connection URL for your test to connect to. And this approach prevents port conflicts and it enables parallel builds. So to perform a containers cleanup, there is a special container called Rike, which gets started along with your main container. It gets some specific labels assigned, and then Rike uh, can queue uh, main database containers by those uh, specified labels. So after the end of the test, your environment is clean. Uh, you have no containers, uh, zombie containers running. And then the library provides you waiting strategies. You can wait for the host port for HTTP endpoints, status and a payload. You can wait for SQL endpoint. You can wait for payload inside the container logs. Uh, you can implement your own custom waiting strategy and you can combine them into one. 
Uh, so this is example of host port waiting strategy. You just need to specify additional parameter in your container request and to specify which port you're waiting for. So implementation will uh, do the checks from outside the container at the host port, and it also do the, will do the check inside the container at the service port. And default timeout is 60 seconds. Uh, and this is example of HTTP waiting strategy. You can wait for specific endpoint uh, at uh, at specific port, and for the, you can check the status and even payload, uh, which is not shown here. So uh, the takeaways is that this is a great library which provides uh, a lot of balance between flexibility and features, and this is really great for integration tests. And you can even use for some simple end-to-end -end test setups. And thank you very much. And you can find me on Twitter. Uh, you can check some examples at my GitHub. And the same handle I, I have for speaker deck, so I, I published my slides there. Thank you very much.